authorized. All right. Hey, folks, this is Ryan from Rogue Parts. Wanted to uh, do this pretty important video to demonstrate how to correctly seat the home button on an iPad mini digitizer when you get the whole assembly. A lot of them come like this to include the ones that we sell. And uh, uh, what we're doing here is we're going to take off the home button wing uh, and readhesive it and then glue it so that it, it all stays in place. So this is for our assembly. This is for uh, assemblies that you may get on the web somewhere. Uh, uh, what's happening is these assemblies are coming without the proper adhesive and glue situation and the home buttons are caving in when people are pressing them. So we're going to remedy that situation by, uh, uh, by applying these tactics you see here. So we just took the wing off. Uh, now what we're going to do is take the piece of adhesive off that's there and then re-adhese everything and sort of put it all down. Just kind of taking this adhesive off. It's kind of stuck to there as adhesive would be, uh, but we're going to get it off. Okay, so now we got some small strips of adhesive that we cut from scissors right there and then uh, and then are, are going to place them in the spots where we know that that wing's going to sort of face. Just kind of kind of put them uh, uh, small and that, use that size, use this as a reference and kind of just put them where, you, where the wing would place. That's kind of the best strategy that we've come up with at this point. Not to put them on the wing themselves, but to put them where the wings would place on the digitizer. Uh, so our senior tech, Rob Williams, is now just placing that adhesive and just making sure it's seated without scratching the digitizer, of course, because you can do that very easily at this point, uh, but ensuring that that adhesive is totally uh, seated. Uh, we're just kind of cutting more squares out to put on here. You see that that square right there is a little bit bigger than what the, sp what the shape of the wing that's going to go over it, but that's necessary. It needs to be because it gives it a, 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 better, a better seal. And that's what we want. We don't want that thing to move. You don't want it to move. You want your home bunk functionality to be great. So when the device comes stock, it comes very, very solid, almost impossible to get out by pressing it. you got to heat it to pull it all apart. All right, so now that we got that stuff off, we peeled those adhesive strips. We're going to place the wing back on and align it. Make sure that the two holes on the wing are aligned with the two prongs that are pointed up on the home button so that you get a perfect fit. And then just seat it down and make sure that it sticks. Since we put all that adhesive on there and we put those big strips, this thing isn't going anywhere. It's literally not going anywhere. And this is where this is the best we can do to mimic the original situation coming from the from from the factory uh, on on initial iPad devices. So Rob flips the device around. You want to make sure your home button is straight and do a little bit of a test press. Uh, to make sure that everything is good and we're doing that there and, and he seems pretty satisfied with that. The next step is putting some super glue on it. So this is just a dab of super glue that we're going to put on the end of a, a spudger, a plastic spudger, because if you look at the insides of the iPad mini around the home button area when they come stock, it has some glue on it. Uh, from the factory, so we're trying to replicate that situation by just putting a ball of glue on the end of something, you know, uh, 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 pretty sharp. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just have to to basically mimic the situation that uh, we got from uh, from the factory. You don't necessarily have to do this, but we do because we want to make sure everything that we do is completely tight for the repairs that we do for all the corpse we work with and all the people that we work with alike. Everybody's just as important, and we don't want people being upset with our stuff. Uh, so we so we so we need to do this on everyone. If you got the adhesive in place and you put that stuff there, that should suffice for the most part. But if you want, if you're one of those people, or if you're doing this for clients, you're a repair company that really wants to make this uh, extra good, and you feel 100% secure about it, then yeah, put the glue on there because if you're trying to 100% replicate what is stock on the device coming from the factory. Glue is one of those elements. So we're just sort of putting the glue around each part of that wing uh, to ensure that it stays in place. Uh, it's important to note that you could use both crazy glue and or super glue. Uh, just make sure that if you are using super glue that you are completely satisfied with the placement of everything because once you place it on there it's going to be super hard to get it off. All right.